Hey guys, welcome to my vlog. And so for this vlog, this will be my personal thoughts if a plague tale innocence is worth it in the year 2021. So I will be dividing it through sections, story, gameplay, graphics and sounds, pros and cons, and my final thoughts. So let's get on with the video. A Plague Tale Innocence is a story-driven action-adventure stealth game developed by Asobo Studios, published by Focus Home Interactive, released in 2019, that took inspiration with The Last of Us. So the story is set in 14th century France during the Hundred Years' War. It follows two orphans, Amicia and Hugo, as they venture to this dark period as they are hunted down by the group called the Inquisition as ravenous rats plague over France. Uh, the story focuses on the bond between Amisa and Hugo, and how it evolves throughout the game is what makes it really special. And I can say that the story was very intriguing from start to finish, the other characters were interesting, the pacing was exact, but how the story unravels itself was unexpected to me, and I have no problems with it. Uh, it's not a perfect story by any means, all story has its own flaws, but the narrative was great nonetheless. So the gameplay is focused on stealth and puzzles. The stealth was fine but it serves its purpose to tell the narrative. Amicia has tools at her disposal with her sling where it requires you to collect ingredients in each level to craft them. There is also an upgrade system which allows you to improve Amicia's equipment with the materials you found and unlock cool abilities with alchemy as you progress throughout the story. Later on, you meet uh, characters in later sections where they have distinct things that they can do from picking locks and taking out guards. The puzzles, however, revolve around maneuvering swarms of rats using light, which is very cool. So what I can say about these rats is that they are no joke. Uh, they're just menacing and life-threatening. As they hunger for human flesh, uh, flesh by any means, it enhances how lethal they are with, along with their glowing red eyes. The swarm physics behind them were implemented really well. I really like how the way they move and it makes it really immersive. And how we were introduced to the rats for the first time was really awesome and terrifying. Uh, some sections mix us both humans and rats which makes it really challenging and it's up to you how you get past them. There are also collectibles in the game such as flowers and artifacts which gives you information about the time period. The graphics are unbelievable. A game being on a slightly lower budget, the game looks phenomenal. How the light reflects, the atmosphere, the dirt, the clothing, and all looks so realistic and it doesn't disappoint. The sound is alright, the French accent was superb, sound effects were great, and the cutscenes were well made and captured. And I can say that the soundtrack of this game is beautiful and it really sets the mood of each particular section of the game. Fans of narrative-driven games are in for a treat. Uh, the game is still incredible to play if you haven't played it in the year of its release. I give this game like a 9 out of 10. Uh, the game definitely respects your time and has so much passion into it as of what I can tell. Uh, if you can finish it under 2-3 sittings. Uh, it is still a game that everyone must experience who are fans of the genre, regardless of its few flaws. So after playing this game, it was so good that it made me look forward to its sequel. Uh, you can pick this game up on uh, PC, uh, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, NS, and Nintendo Switch. So that is it guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye!